vehicles are a big part of your business and you need them to perform. Can CNG cars and trucks get the job done? That's what the folks over at Dane County were wondering. I would hear from my guys if, if the trucks weren't able to do what they were doing before on gasoline. Yeah, I'll try it, but it's got to work. Let's find out how CNG vehicles perform by talking to people who put them to the test. We went over to Time Transport, a business all about hauling, to see if their CNG trucks have enough power. That's what they're all afraid of. It's not going to do the same thing, but they do. The 12 liters that we have, you absolutely don't know any difference. And we're hearing the same thing from drivers of medium and light duty vehicles. It works great for us. Say you're pulling a skid steer, getting on the interstate, you notice a hair of power difference compared to regular unleaded gas, but other than that, that's it. It performed like a Ford F-250 should. I've towed a 24-foot trailer loaded with 8,000 pounds and uh, didn't notice a thing. I towed it all the way to Tennessee. No problems getting up to speed, no problems keeping up with traffic. Getting on the freeway now and you can tell it's got, it, got enough under the hood to get you where you got to go. It doesn't sound like power is going to be a problem, but here in the Midwest, when it comes to performance, you have to consider Mother Nature. 20 below zero weather, snowstorms. I was worried about starting this vehicle in this cold weather on these cold mornings. Not a problem at all. Turn the key and they go. The fuel itself does not freeze. So there's no additive that you need to put into the fuel tank to keep it from freezing. When it comes to cold weather, it looks like CNG has the edge. But drivers do see a trade-off. The tank is encased in this steel shield right here. It's inside of there. And um, it takes up about 22 inches of my bed space. That's about the front third of our pickup box. With the uh, tailgate extender, I gain the exact amount of space that I lost with the tanks. It gives me six and a half feet of bed space. Companies that have made the leap say it's ultimately worth it, with CNG prices about 50% less than diesel. I think we're saving $20,000 a year in fuel costs. It was worthwhile converting our entire fleet. The projections are that natural gas prices are going to remain low. The supply has essentially doubled in the last five years. If you're cutting your fuel costs in half and you know that the supply is going to be there, it's pretty straightforward. And there are some unexpected benefits too, like the fact that CNG engines are a lot quieter and cleaner. It runs so quiet you can't hardly hear it. They're so clean. With the diesel trucks, just fueling the truck, you smell it, you get it on your shoes. Then you get in the cab with it, you smell diesel fuel all day long. There's none of that. There's no exhaust, no soot. CNG is a clean burning fuel. Compared to gas or diesel, CNG vehicles produce fewer pollutants. If you've never driven one of these vehicles, you might think CNG is a new technology. Think again. Honestly, it's not that new. We've been making natural gas engines since 1986. So feel comfortable in the fact that the technology is proven. It's the same motor that they've built for years. So there you have it. Plenty of power, good performance in the cold, clean running, quiet engines, and proven technology means CNG is getting the job done. We tow trailers, we plow with them. Yeah, it works. It'll pull the same loads, do the same job. The guys love them. For more straight talk on CNG, go to mge.com slash CNG.